Let's write the structural formula for cyclopentanone. So the first thing you note, you have this O-N-E at the end. That O-N-E means you're going to have a ketone. There'll be a carbon with a double bond to an oxygen, and on either side we'll have carbon atoms. So we're going to have a double bonded carbon in the structure. Pent, that means five. So we're going to have five carbons. And cyclo means that we have a ring. So if we put a ring with five carbons up, that'll look like this. Right now, this is just cyclopentane, because it's all carbon single bonded with hydrogens around them. Each carbon here, these would be the carbons, they will have four bonds. So this carbon has one, two, so we're going to have two hydrogens out here, and so on. So this is cyclopentane, but we're looking for a cyclopentanone. We want the structural formula for cyclopentanone. So we said that this O-N-E means we have a ketone, we'll have a carbon double bonded to an oxygen. We could really put it on any of these, but let's just put it up top here. So we could draw that like this. So this is the structure for cyclopentanone. Let's look at this in three dimensions. So here's the cyclopentanone, the red, that's the oxygen, then the gray or black carbons, whites are the hydrogen. So you can see no hydrogens here on this one with a double bond, and then we have two hydrogens on each one of the other of these carbons here. So that's it, that's the structure for cyclopentanone. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.